All right, now the One UI 7 stable version is on its way to various different Samsung Galaxy phones. And now Samsung has revealed all the new features of the camera application. And they have also mentioned which devices are eligible to get these camera features as well as the gallery features. So if you own older versions of Samsung Galaxy phones, there are chances that some of these features will be skipped for your device. And I will be discussing about the same in this video today. I will demonstrate the new feature and will tell you whether your device is eligible to get that specific feature or not. This was officially shared by Samsung if I'm not wrong. Some of the moderators have shared this information and the same has been shared by Tarun Watts on X. Before we go ahead, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and if you want to stay updated with everything that is happening with your phone, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, become a part of Apex community and give this video a like if you find this video informative and do not forget to download our wallpaper application Volvers. The home screen wallpaper that you see here is available on Volvers. That's a premium wallpaper. You can watch the ad and download it and you've got loads of free wallpapers as well. I keep posting, I keep adding more wallpapers every day. So go ahead, download it and rate it on Play Store. That motivates me to keep adding more wallpapers for you guys. So do go ahead and rate 5 star on Play Store for Volvo's application. Now let's dive right into the video. Let me go ahead and open the camera application. Now this is a brand new layout that we are getting. We've got most of the camera controls now at the bottom of the screen, which can be handled in just one hand. And we just have a couple of options on the top and when we tap on this button here all these options will expand and when we tap on more we have got all these options all these icons inside this window at the bottom half of the screen. Now this is a brand new layout and now let me show you which devices are eligible to get this new layout. The Galaxy S22 series, S23 series, S24 series, S23 FE, S24 FE, Galaxy Z Fold 4, 5, 6 and 6 SE, Z Flip 4, 5, 6 and Galaxy Tab S8, 9 and 10 series all these devices are eligible to get the new layout. If you have any other predecessors or any other mid-range phones, you may not be getting this new layout. Next, we have got something called AI filters on this new camera application now. Let me show you the feature first before I tell you the eligible devices. When I expand this menu, you will see the filter option right here. You can see this is the brand new icon. And when you tap on that, you get various different filters. We have got breeze, pulse, crystal, shiver, chill, glow, amber, sunbeam, shadow, shade, and you will be able to download more from Galaxy Store. And each of these filters can be customized. As you can see, if I am on breeze, I can change the strength, color temperature, contrast. I can adjust all of these uh, variations and get that perfect filter that I'm looking for. And when you tap on this plus button here, you can generate a filter from an image. Let's say I want uh, the filter from this image. I can generate it and tap on create. Now this filter will be created and it will be saved right here. As you can see, this is an additional filter that I've created and I will be able to apply this filter on any image that I'm going to take. So we don't really have to edit the image later. We can apply the filter before taking the image itself. And if I don't want this filter, I got this delete button right here. I can tap on this delete button and delete this filter that I just created. So that is the filter option. And now let me tell you the eligible devices. This will be available for Galaxy S22, S23, S24 series, S23 FE, S24 FE, Z Fold 4, 5, 6, and and 6 SE, Galaxy Z Fold 4, 5, 6 and Galaxy Z Flip 4, 5, 6. Now let's check out the next feature that is the log video. When I go to the settings here on advanced video options, let me tap on advanced video options. Here we get log video format. This can be set for both videos and pro video modes. This is a great feature for creators out there. We will be able to take videos in log format and color grade it post production. So that is a great feature. And this feature is not available for all the devices. You will be getting log video format only for the Galaxy S24 series. And of course the S25 series is anyways eligible, but the only predecessors that is getting log video is the S24 series, which includes S24, S24 Plus and S24 Ultra. The next feature is motion photo. Now motion photo is a single file that combines a still image with a short video clip, capturing a few seconds of action leading up to the still frame. So we will have multiple frames on a single image that we take. 
and later we'll be able to pick the perfect shot from the options that we get that is motion photo and that icon is available right here you can see this is motion photo off and this is motion photo on now this feature is available on some of the galaxy phones on one device 7 that would be galaxy s24 series z46 6 special edition and z flip 6. next feature is best face now for the best face feature to work, I need to make sure I have enabled motion photo. Now it is turned on. Let me show you how this works. Let's open the selfie uh, camera. Let me take a selfie image here. Now I will open the image and uh, you can see we have got the motion photo. I can tap on view motion photo here to check out the motion photo. It has taken a small video clip. Now uh, what I can do is I can tap on edit button and here it says choose a new expression with best face. Now I can tap on this and here I get the icon best face. Now let me tap on this one here. As you can see the AI is finding the best faces and uh, okay it's saying couldn't find any better faces. Maybe I will have to work on this again. Let me uh, open the camera again. Let's take the image. Okay now uh, let me do the same thing. Let me open the image here. Tap on edit and uh, tap on best face. Now let's see if this works. Yep here we go. We have got four different faces here. It is currently showing me the best face. Let me tap on view more. We have got about uh, eight different faces here. I can choose the one that I want. As you can see this is the original and uh, these are the diff different face options that I have got in different expressions. I can choose the one that I want. This is how the best face feature works but this will be really useful if you are taking group photos. Let's say you have taken a perfect shot but somebody in the uh, photo has uh, closed their eyes or they are not looking at the camera then you may be able to use this feature in a better way. And now let's check out which devices are eligible to get this feature. This will be supported on S23 series, 24 series, S24 FE, Galaxy Z Fold 5, 6 and 6 SE, Z Flip 5, 6, Galaxy Tab S9, S10 series. These are eligible to get the best face feature. Next we have got slow motion on ultra wide angle and telephoto lenses which means we can shoot slow motion on different lenses and this is supported on the Galaxy S24 series and this is available right here on more when I tap on slow motion you will be able to shoot slow motion videos in different lenses and this feature on One UI will be available on the Galaxy S24 series Z Fold 6 and 6 Special Edition and Z Flip 6. These are the camera features that are coming on One UI 7 and those are the eligible models which we just discussed. Now let's take a look at the gallery features. The first one is audio eraser. Using this feature we will be able to reduce or completely eliminate the background noise and adjust various other background sounds on the Galaxy phone. And this feature is supported on the Galaxy S24 series, S24 FE, Galaxy Z Fold 6 and 6 Special Edition, Z Flip 6 Galaxy Tab S10 series. Rest of the devices will not be getting audio eraser. Next we have got auto trim feature. Let me show you how this feature works. Let me open gallery and uh, select the videos and select a few video clips here. Maybe uh, these four video clips I will select and I tap on create and tap on movie. Now this is the studio application on which we will be able to edit the videos and here we have got this brand new option uh, here at the bottom left corner which will automatically trim each video. Again this is a AI feature let me show you how many clips I have here one two three and four clips I've got and all these clips are combined it is 42 seconds. Now let me tap on this icon here and as you can see the AI is working on all these clips and it is cutting each clip down to its highlights. And now that 42 seconds video has been trimmed to 30 seconds, all the clips are retained here and each clip has been trimmed which shows the highlights of that particular clip. Now this feature is not really perfect. It is actually not taking all the important highlights. It will just casually take some uh, parts of the video and trim it down. But yeah maybe in the future this will work better. But for casual editing if you want to quickly trim the video clips and combine it and make a single video clip then this feature is going to be very useful. You can tap on this button here to uh, reduce the length. Uh, the custom length is set to 30 seconds by default. If you want to further shorten all the clips you can just reduce the video size here to 20 seconds for example. Now I will be able to uh, again you can see it is working on the clips and that has been reduced to 20 seconds as you can see here. Now this is a brand new feature and this feature uh, auto trim is supported on the S24 series Z Fold 6 and 6 special edition Z Flip 6 
Galaxy Tab S10 series. Next, we have got advanced generative AI editing. When selecting an object, even the shadow of that object is removed together and the sense of heterogeneity is improved so that it can be harmonized with the surrounding area. This is what Samsung says. Let me quickly demonstrate this. Let me open this image. And here we have got generative edit. Now what I'll do is I will try to remove this specific object here. Let me just circle this. Yep, it has just selected it. Let's see whether this is going to remove the shadow of this specific object or not. I will just erase this. It's erasing that object and I'll tap on generate. That is just perfect and it is a great feature which is offered by Samsung. You see, not only the object is removed, the shadow has also been removed. Amazing, isn't it? And the next feature is sketch conversion where multi-mask is supported to generate results for multiple sketches in one picture. And we also have portrait studio. Samsung says it has been improved to maintain the main features of the face well and the expressive power has been improved to suit each style. So the generative editing, sketch conversion and portrait studio features are supported on S22 series, S23 series, S24 series, S23 FE, S24 FE, Galaxy Z Fold 4, 5, 6, 6 SE, Z Flip 4, 5, 6, Tab S8, S9 and S10 series. Now these are some amazing new features, the camera features and the gallery features which are arriving with One UI 7 and those are the eligible models. And now you know whether your phone is eligible to get these features or not. That's all I want to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you have subscribed to the channel already. Do not forget to hit the like button. That encourages me to keep coming up with some cool contents for you guys. And yeah, of course, do not forget to download the wallpaper application Volvers. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.